I got it. Floral, I'm sorry. You have a sharp bite sometimes, you know? But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Floral. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Farrell. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world. Things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone. Farrell, I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Murad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Laurel, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <sighs> okay, I... I guess it's worth a shot. Incend, We've tea got tree, and... Uh... Actually, I've got a better idea. us the savior of meridian has returned you earned his welcome you saved them not yet in the name of the sun king of vard a royal welcome for the champion make way Murad, aloy has an urgent matter to discuss a shame that makes two of us i've sent forth hunters for weeks the sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened in the spire. Come. I'll show you. Watch your step. You saved us all, to be sure, but, uh... It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed in angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. And that. We left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I got the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. I've got a bad feeling about this. I don't know. I could pull this thing out of my
transmission. Uh oh. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. This. That's part of this machine was the last line of defense for Hades. They dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but it's just a piece of scrap now. Alright. I might be able to climb up the scaffolding. At the base of the spire. Kind of exploring. A pulse from my focus might help me find a way up. She looks even stronger than the statue does. to get up the spire. The crane looks like a good place to start. jump to that ledge behind me. Should be able to jump back and reach those ropes behind me. Took you long enough.
pull that crane closer. There we go. Now, how to cross over to the spire. Looks like I can use my pull caster on that. Should be able to get up there now. Silence was helping me when he gave me his lance. <laughs> but it looks like he tricked me. He transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully the transmission note at the top will tell me. Doesn't look like I can keep climbing this way. So I'm gonna go back down. Huh? <laughs> Looks like this panel's ajar. Can I go up through the inside? See. This game is gorgeous. Well, Eloy, I see you finally figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You raped a lance to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't you take one of those guy up back that you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Eloy. The difference is, 
I have made progress. So once you're angered, my entirely necessary deception has faded. Now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, how can I find you, all right? Yes. Well, an accordion should make it simple enough. Even for you. inside it and it transformed almost like the day of the battle mm. i can only be grateful that it's a stormy day few will have seen the tower change from meridian what did you discover hades the danger didn't end here it went into the forbidden west and i have to follow i see that can be difficult the west is called forbidden for a reason the tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it, the Tanakh, and they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated, and indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier, where you two attend the gathering under his auspices. The Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Ah, the Sun King. <laughs> Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now, please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace, but I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. Uh, Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Luthit, Vinasha. Quick, better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? Try it on. It's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. Wow. I need to attach the Master Override to my new spear. There should be a workbench around here I can use. Welcome back to the Alliance. Machine carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. There. Workbench. Okay. 
Master override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. A uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. Savior, everything's just the way you left it. We made sure of it. with me that's new Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? <laughs> <laughs> you said it fine, Edmund. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? Itaman. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! like a memorial. Honoring those who fell in the Battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. If I knew I was gonna meet you, I would have baked a cake or something. Are you finished with your friends, or do you need more time? I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. Wow. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. All right. has grown so somber these words don't seem like mine but the iron wolves 
to steal. <laughs> Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then who would crank it back up? <laughs> fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. <laughs> I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. Strangeness is, they're not native to the dot. Just showed up all of a sudden. No hunter. Just to kill them? Well, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Olvent. Boss of chain scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. Wow. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it. Ah! Great. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag? Oh, you calling somebody Watch. names, huh? That's Aloy. Studious Vardis. Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the embassy at Baron Light. Way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did 
Araman. Proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the vanguard tells me the way is clear and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. Wadis. Studious Wadis. Studious Wadis sent Erend and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey. Shh. <laughs> Down the valley then? Yeah, said they check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to Chain Scrape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. It will be. Trust me. I gotta find Erend, but it might be good to hit Chain Scrape first and upgrade my bow. These machines must have torn through this camp. This valley definitely isn't safe.
to the brink. Machine. Mm. It must be a bristleback. Maybe Errand took it down. Maybe. Grounds that must be chain scrape. Drew said I could get my bow upgraded in there. Might be able to tinker with my other gear too. Might as well. Want to come in, Savior? Yep. Welcome to Chainscrape, Savior. Open up, guys. Jorah's orders. Good enough for me. By the forge. Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you too. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. And right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our land, not our prop. The bristlebacks are everybody. Roland? You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. Gotta move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. Well, this old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Yep.
right, let's go. Good. This should be useful. Now I just need to find Aaron and help him clear the bristlebacks. Oh, drop the axe. We all know it was the Karja who let the bristlebacks into the valley. Sent them straight through the gates of their end. I 
can't override that machine. Where are you off to? Rigged with trip wires. Hey, you! Make it worth your while if you kill these scroungers. That's always something. Hold tight. I'll see what I can do. Try luring them into the trip wires. Bring it on. Where do you go? Kill the machines near the awesome and trapper. Let's go back. You're back. Maybe I could get some help this time around. showed up. Tripwire's handy, but Sheen Hunt's a youngin's game. Come on over. Let me give thanks proper like. The 
see you're a practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through you? <laughs> yeah, just a bit ago. Down that bristleback, headed south. But then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. Then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the daunt, you're gonna want a trip caster. Not just any trip caster. One of mine make. Free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep. Uh, been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, uh, well, accidents. Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> More like someone. I don't follow. There's this sack of wet dirt, Olvind. Thinks he's the elderman of Chain Scrape. Gotta have the town treating him as such. <laughs> Back when I had a place in town, he took a real interest in my wares. Kept pressing for the Olven discount. I said no, he didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that Jeff Bucket set my workshop on fire. Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. Cable car operator told me the bristlebacks just appeared yesterday. Do you know anything about them? How is old Karn? Back in the day, me and him got into all sorts of trouble. There was this one time that... Anything about the bristlebacks? <laughs> exactly, about well, your life story. Karn said true. Just showed up and ran amok. Lucky for me, I've got you and the vanguard swooping in time to time to save my backside. Wow. I should get going. Thanks for the trip, Caster. While you're blasting bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a trip caster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. So Aaron headed south. I should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. I can.
Cover's tracks headed up the hill. Parents? No focus can help me follow them. Okay, that count. His bristlebacks are everywhere. See where this leads. Sounds like someone's putting up a fight. Get him. Stay where you are. I'll handle the rest. Bristlebacks have acid canisters on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. Fill my patch with these later. Hey, Lloyd. Uh, yeah, you might, you might have to oh, meet me halfway. Ah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Caught me in my best. <laughs> well, you did the hard part. I just took care of the stragglers. How bad is it? Uh, this, ah, who needs ribs, huh? <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Huh. Okay, well, I, I know you didn't come all the way to the Daunt just to watch me get wrecked. But what's the story? I need the embassy to happen. So I can head west. Errand, what I did at the Spire... What we did... It didn't end the threat. Man, this game is good, just man. This game is good, y'all. There's still more to do. Really? Well, that's great. I mean, yeah, not the threat's not over part. That's not so great. But, but hey, what? Whatever you're up against, your spear, my hand. I know they don't like stream single-player games, but I was already playing it, so I figured I'd go live. Hope everybody's having a good Easter weekend. I know I am playing some Horizon Forbidden West. Was looking at my homeboy Chariot Man gaming at first. And uh, I think I don't know if he's still streaming. I think he is. Alone. <laughs> that figures. Aaron. I hate to interrupt the romance, but I'm pretty banged up here. I, don't blow your blaze. I'm coming. <laughs> oh, this just keeps getting better. Huh. Listen, I'll go to Baron Light, get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're going to need this sun priest, Studius Wadis. Oh, I know him. I'll clear the Valley of Bristlebacks, then send Wadis to Baron Light. I'll catch up with you there. Well, I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. I'm sorry? You? Sorry? <laughs> That'd be a first. Where What's up, work, Birdie? How you doing? You just, you know, forget it. Yeah, oh, it's nothing. It sounds like something. Playing this Horizon Forbidden West right, on PC. Fine. What's good with right, you? After the battle at the Spire, you you took off. You left without so much as a handshake. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear. What kind of person does that? I'm chilling. That's what's up. Uh oh. Aaron, this game is good. Birdie, this game looks good. It plays left. good. It's a good port. No, it's not easy it's now. PC. What I've been doing. Life on Earth is in danger, and only I can save it. Life on Earth. Everything dies unless I succeed. Wow. Well, then let me help. Oh, you can't. There's no machine to fight, no bad guy to kill. What I've got to do, I... Yeah. It looks good. I can't even explain it. Not even to people I care about. Oh, so much I finally got put a 47 in my other PC. Okay. So both my Aaron, PCs got 47s in them. By the forge. I got a good deal on them, so I couldn't pass it up. You gotta hold me over to the 50 no, series come out. PlayStation games Obviously. look. Yeah, they look good. On, they look great on PC. It's a good port, Birdie. Trust me. Nixus did a very good job. He said shoot nearby environmental traps to unleash the payloads and at least take heavy damage. You'll have to handle that one on your own. We'll only slow you down. Wow. This joint do look good. Yeah, 47. I got two 47s. And I can play the other one on ultra wide. That's what I like. I'll save the extra stock for later. Okay, am I going back this way? Yeah, I look like it. You ready for the 50 series cards? Oh yeah, Birdie, I got a um thousand watt uh, EVGA modular PSU. I'm gonna put probably put that in maybe um one day after work. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get another thousand watt PSU. That should hold me over for now, cause when the next graphics cards come out, they're gonna probably require more power. So I want to go ahead and get my PSUs out the way. You think a thousand watts that's good? 
Should be enough. Am I going the right way? Yeah, look like it. So go to the source of the explosions. What are those Osirim doing out here? Yeah, Quick, what are they? Gotta scrap them before the scroungers get them. Oh shoot! Oh, that bristleback's charging right at them. Get back to chain scrape before you get yourselves killed. Not with all this salvage lying about. Come on, crew. Back to it. All right. Yeah, take care of that right quick. Yeah, I'm ready for the 50 series cars. I hope so. Only, yes, thousand watts is great. You never need to upgrade unless it goes bad. Okay. All right, then. Yeah, I got an EVGA because, you know, I like EVGA power supply. PSUs, anyway. These joints are here. Let me get back on track. I'm going to get another one for my other PC and I'll be straight. It was like, I think I paid like 149 for EVGA. So that's not bad. It's a modular. Another one. Another one down. There's another one. There. Corey's safe. Stranger, come on over here. We gotta talk. Yeah, it's one of the best. I'm using the um, arm in my arm. Um, this rig here, I'm using the um, Ryzen 7 5700X. And my Intel bill, I think it's a... Uh, I forgot which one is in my Intel bill. I... What is it? Uh, 2400... I, I forgot. I got, to, <laughs> I got to pull it up. But I'm going to upgrade that CPU and the other one. It's an Intel build. The second one is an Intel build, my other PC, but this one's a Ryzen build. It's pretty powerful. It's, it's, it, hey, it does a job. It does a job. The other Intel, they told me I can go with a, um, uh, let me tell you in a minute. Let me see if it, let, yeah. I'm going to tell you what Main Gear told me. Uh, let me see if I can look it up. Stranger, come on over here. We got to talk. Oh, it's not that one. Where's it at? Where's it at? Is it sales? Hold on, let's see. Yeah, I told him that I, I want to upgrade my CPU on my other one. Let me see. They told me to go with an uh, i5 
um, 1206K or I7 12, 700. Because what I'm rocking now is a. Um, Lord, I forgot what I got in there. Hold on. I think it's an I-12-400. I don't want to get it wrong. I don't want to get it wrong. But I'm going to upgrade the CPU in the, um, my second PC. Oh, okay. If you ask my CPU question, I couldn't hear you. I'm playing. <laughs> Go with the I-9. Wouldn't I have to change the... um. And I'm on an LGA. What is it? The LGA socket. I'm on a 1700 socket, I think. I think that's what they told me. Stranger, come on over here. We got to talk. I could go with the I9. I'm hoping that I can go with the I9 because of the socket set I got. Where is he at? Told me to come on over here. Okay, there he is. I don't know what Anor is doing out here, but consider yourself old. Go to I nine. Okay. And wait for the vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full fledged fracas. Yes, yeah, a new motherboard. Is yeah. Okay? The we AMD um. People, but we would have lost the whole. I'm rocking with the us. um. Asus Tough um X five ninety on here. Chain scrapes, whistle ain't blown. But like I said, this is an AMD bill. The other one is an Intel bill. What are you and your crew working on? We're supposed to be working Alvin's claim, digging out stone to show our barren life. But the work stoppage and the bristlebacks cut us short. Never seen those blasted things in the dawn before. Where in Forge Fire did they come from? <laughs> they come out of nowhere. Sure. At least not yet. Do you need the whistle to get back to work? Me and my crew were just little cogs out here. Yeah, the AMDs are nice. But this Intel ain't bad. I mean, on my other PC, it's not bad, but I need to upgrade it. And my people have been through enough. Elvin holds that much power? He's got the money and connections to snuff our fires for good. Almost feels like we stood a better chance with the bristlebacks. Hold on. I was trying to find it. It's on my, it's on my Twitch page what my CPU is. On both the PCs. Okay. Hold on just a second. Let's see if it shows me anything. Uh. I need to get going. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. I think I've cleared out most okay, of the on the other PC, the well, CPU to travel. I'll go get um, the good news. is a um, Maybe this embassy 12400F. That's the Intel. The mo motherboard is the MSI Pro B660M. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Of course, on here is the Ryzen 7, 7 uh, 5700X. Um, tried it Z RGB series. Um, I got the G Skill RAM on both of them. I got 64 gigs of RAM that I just put in this one, and I got 32 in the other one. But I'm gonna upgrade my other PC to 64 gigs too. I believe in RAM. Because, you know, when you stream and stuff, you uh, there's nothing wrong with ha having extra RAM. Okay, where I got to go? Am I going the right way? I'm going to make sure I'm going the right way. Nope, I'm not going the right way. Let me go back this way. All right, let's get it. What you been playing, Birdie? You been playing some Madden? Yeah, I try to do the right combos. CPU and, um, let me save it right here. Okay. I like it.
like how they got the save points. I like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to the brink. Yeah, you have a micro center. Nope, I don't have a micro center where I'm at because when you start doing any build, they'll still control kit, CPU, motherboard, and RAM. That way you're always up to date on the new stuff. True. Nope, there's no there's no um micro center. I don't even know if there's a micro center in Florida. If it is, it's this South Florida, and I'm in North Florida. So nope, don't have a micro center. But you know what, Birdie? I do my research, so I pretty much know. Um, the DDR5. Is what people are getting into now. Rise of Ronin. How you like Rise of Ronin? Be welcome, Elvin. Oi, you're that Nora machine hunter. Time to give Wadis to Baralite. Yeah, I know, right? Look at the background, Birdie. Look at that. Look at that. A joint. This joint look good. What's up, player? You're not supposed to be working. Sorry, Red. We're closed. <laughs> well, I got to go over here anyway, so where I gotta go? Oh, no. This joint look good, Birdie. Who I need to talk to? Homeboy right here. He got a whole hog in there. Jeez. You got an onion? Milda, I took some of your stew last time I went into the wilds. Kept me going for a week. Felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> it's almost like heaven. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. <laughs> but? But? But my special group griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? She got some food. <laughs> For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat. And I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice. Until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile. If you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. <laughs> and you know what I like, Birdie, on PC? You can still use your, um... You can still use your controller. I don't know if you can see this. 
You can still use your P. Oh shoot! You can still use your PS5 controller. Okay, what am I doing? I don't think I need to do that. Let's go this way. <laughs> the way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the <laughs> captain says. When I cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have, captain's orders. So they're okay. Yeah, they Vanguard, fine. But breathing, and waiting up ahead for you. Well. I shall not be moving anywhere until the whistle has sounded. If it is not safe for them, then it is not safe for me. Fine. I'll make sure the whistle gets blown, and then I'll be back. Hear that? We're not leaving yet. Unpack the cart! No. I'll be right back. Don't get comfortable. As if that were possible here. <laughs> Petra mentioned Olvind is supposed to be in charge around here. Guess I should talk to him to get the whistle blown. Let's get the whistle blown since he want to be a jerk off. Some kind of payment. My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle, remove the bristlebacks and face it. What other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, <laughs> what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very this well. This game is gorgeous. I shall be waiting. So... The savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Maybe. I've heard many Olfant Freehold at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and... The em ah. Greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around... Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well... It's a hell of a belt, ain't it? Good lord. Let's get to it, hey? <laughs> and off you go. Not so fast. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day or two. <sighs> no, you blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay- Either you do it now or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it! Friends, gather round. The savior of Meridian has... Uh, you. Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business! Terrific. Yay. 
And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah! That's where I like it! Yeah! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Yeah! Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do. <laughs> Oh, these t they just tell you a little bit about each character. Set of points. All right, what we got? Well, the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. Yep, let's trade. Let's see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Baron Light. Better see what that Karja magistrate wanted. Bet he's in the tavern. Oops. Um. Okay, outfits. Did I? Okay. this one Ooh. Nova Thunder Elite Acid Trap Crafted. 3 or 12. Let's get it. Might as well update all of them. Birdie, you been looking at Mars Madness? Any basketball? Did I do that one? Okay, that one's okay. Pouch upgrades. Dang, how many? All right. Okay, I can't craft that one yet. Okay.
Let's get it. I ain't got no skill. Okay, I get some skill points. I'm the hunter. Let's get it. Okay, where is one? Is that it? You heard the whistle. Time to go. <laughs> but but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Lightbodies. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. I don't like him. He's a butthole. Well, now that that's done, the embassy can finally get underway. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down silence. Hades. Maybe even a guy back up. I guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the dance some more first. And maybe take Petra up on that drink. I need to talk to him. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I'll be right with you. Uh, okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon. Kill is the point. Not if it <laughs> blows the user's arm off. Oh, just, just, just stop talking. Where are we? Ah. <clears throat> so, uh, 
You, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... <sighs> but you're just not! I am with a customer! I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder! It'll blow a strider sky high! Ba-boom! One shot kill, guaranteed. Uh... Maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red! How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine enhanced <laughs> explosive done in one machine wrecking yet perfectly safe javelin thrower? Let's get it. I'm all about the weapons. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. I had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower effective yes basic undoubtedly but coming out here made me remember it and i am on the brink of vastly whereas i will perfect it i can use machine parts well boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better namely with explosive tips boomsticks why not both that could work there's one small snag I need the parts to make the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, to keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer! You get them for me. It's yours, my treat. You have a deal. Could get around faster if I find a charger to override. I can override one of these chargers. I have to go on quiet so I don't spook the herd.
must borrow the Sundan before the Forbidden West. And Karja Horn. Maybe that means the embassy is running soon. All right, I should find whoever's in charge here. First, I could resupply my stash. Might be worth taking a look around, too. in charge. There's errand. Lighten up, Pai. You've Looks got a like thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakh out there. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So... I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. <laughs> Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh marshals have yet to sound their horn. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. You said something about Tanakh marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. Mm -hmm. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paib over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. Wow. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was thrilled. Again. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? There's the commander. Better brace yourself. And good luck. Why the sun believes we can have peace with these barbarians beyond me? How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> ah. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. We appreciate your service. 
At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. Why <laughs> the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? <sighs> You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Tuan. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. Follow the complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Wow. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Wow. Someone approaching! On a machine! Farrell. Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate! That is the direct order! Sorry. Can't do it. I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. Hey, Barl. Hi, Aaron. Uh, what's happening? I, you know, the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not going to work. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut? in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King Avad is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? <laughs> Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Varl. It doesn't matter. I made it just in time. <laughs> That's what's up. So this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? It's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. Uh-oh. Who's this up here? the line between east and west cross it and die hold on now let's take it easy none may walk this valley until our signal sounds that was our accord with the Karja I'm not Karja I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage but they opened the gate for you did they not what is the meaning of this violation why send a child do they want to parlay or not the Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. That ain't happening. She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. A 
Fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding Fashav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You'll have to forgive my comrades. Tensions are high. I bet. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. <laughs> How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear it? I guess we have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaron's raiders when they came west, hoping to failed of course they committed unspeak when the clans overran our forward encampment at cinnabar sands i stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate and was taken prisoner i didn't make it easy for my captors mind you <laughs> and they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital i lost so much blood on the way that i was white as a corpse when they threw me before chief akaro i thought i was dead for sure so i resorted to desperate measures. So when you met the Tanakh chief, he... I kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along, and I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. So, when they flung me at Hakaro's feet, I demanded this right, called the Kurut. Thinking that by winning, I could request a boon. My life, or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but Hakaro stared them down. And then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed mm. me to participate in the cool route. Little did I know what I was in for. All right. I'm sick of you. I think I've heard enough for now. As you wish. You asked why I need rite of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, Enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west. And I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs. And I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian. An army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. Mm. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this. To serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone, and may be able to help you. Okay. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to Look! Him. The Sky Clan's banner! Uh-oh. Marshals, it wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet 
or where we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parlay with the Kaja, but enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After. have opened the gates. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such... <sighs> Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru hath betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us. Exile. Riding machines! Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Vashav! Come with us now, or not at all! Archer! Light them up!
It's just us now. Hey! Calm down and fight fair! Lancers! Take the center! Get ready! Stick to cover! Archers on the ridge! You do the own. Marshal down. Damn them.
survived worse. Bob and weave. Shield like that. challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades, mark this day. Today you have decimated the marshals, slaughtered the Karja. So begins our war on Hikaru. Yeah! Move out. Oh. 
It's supposed to be Angela Bassett. Wow. me aren't you because I'm stuck with Aaron for now <laughs> come on I'll take you back to the fort This game is phenomenal. Good game. Good game. Good game. I don't even want to stop playing. <laughs> I don't even want to stop playing this joint. Like, for real. It's salvage time, boys. Wow. Don't think it can take a hit. I should be able to use it to glide. Mm -hmm. Still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. It sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Yep. Those are Wadis, Peshav, a massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully, this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong. Wow. Home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? Nope. All that out there? No man's, no man's, man's land. <laughs> it was supposed to be neutral ground, though obviously this Regala ignored that her rebels approached from the north with all those machines they were riding they must have made camp up that way the rebels were riding bristlebacks and there were bristlebacks in the daunt are you saying the rebels let them into the daunt how would that even be possible i don't know but it's worth looking into while you're at it there were a number of karja and asaram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? <laughs> There's that one over there near the Utara border. But why? It's, uh, it's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? Do you think the Karja will take action against Regala? Seems like you'd have common ground with the Tanakhs. An expedition of the Karja army into the west could be taken as the start of another invasion. Mm -hmm. Sun King Avad won't risk it. That said, we can't allow ourselves to be caught unaware by an attack like that again. Mm. Fashav called Regala a rival. Someone the Tanakh chief should have killed. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he should have. She's obviously a huge threat. Her attack was coordinated and precise. Until you got in her way, that is. They knew the lay of the land. And they knew Fashav was going to be handed over at the embassy. If the Tanakhth weren't expecting her, 
She must have spent months gathering an army in secret. They had to have made camp nearby. Somewhere they could lie low until the perfect moment to strike. You said there were others who went out when the gates were open before. Like who? Well, in addition to the salvagers that just went through, there were a couple of other parties of Osirum Delvers. Even saw two Karja scholars trekking southwest with an Osirum crew. Not sure if they're exceptionally brave or just foolhardy. This area is no man's land. That it is. But after Avad overthrew the Mad Sun King, he reached out to the other tribes to offer reconciliation. The Tanakh agreed to a neutral border zone as part of the peace talks. Karja and Asaram have been striking out into the area ever since. But now, it seems like Regala and her rebel army have moved in. Well, I'd never call No Man's Land safe, even in the best of times. The ancient ruins of the Southwest are a testament to that. Remnants of some forgotten war. Alright. You said the Tanakh lands are far to the west. What can I expect to find between here and there? Well, as I mentioned, you've got a stretch of wilderness known as No Man's Land, and then new Taru farmlands. Past that are the Tanakh. Their territory is split into three clans. Desert, lowland, and sky. Right. I saw their banners at the embassy. The desert clan is closest. Ooh, vicious lot. Where everyone else sees an inhospitable wasteland, they see a challenge to dominate. Wow. Somewhere beyond the desert is the tribe's capital and the territories of the other two clans. You don't sound certain. I've only heard the stories. During the Red Raids, the Karja army tried to push into Tanakh territory. But the United Clans rose up against them, forced them all the way back to the Daunt. So no one except the Tanakh really know what's beyond the desert. <laughs> Maybe the scholars do, back in Meridian. All those scrolls have to be filled with something, right? Mm -hmm. You mentioned the Utaru tribe. Their lands are between here and the Tanakh further west? That's right. Plains, they're a peaceful bunch. At least compared to the Tanakh. More taken to farming than fighting. Mm. It's hard to imagine a bunch of farmers surviving in the Forbidden West. Make no mistake, they have a fierceness all their own. When the Karja were pushed back during the Red Raids, their warriors chased ours through the burning fields of Plainsong. The Sun King has made several overtures of peace to them as well, but so far... They've declined. If they're so peaceful, why decline? Don't know. Oh. I heard they have their own troubles to deal with. Something about a food shortage. You'd think that'd make them open to trade, but... No. They just want to be left alone. Wow. I'd need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. All right, I'm going to stop it right here. Shouts out to Work Birdie for coming through. Anybody else is going to look at this? Um, Did I save? Where's the save point? That's what I want to know. Is there a save point somewhere? Ooh. Before we do that, let's see. Save. Can I? Can I save it right here? So, 
This is the Forbidden West. A whole new frontier to explore. The coordinates from the spires. I see something. To silence and Hades. Anyway, I'm gonna stop the stream here. Um, I'm gonna pick back up. Back up of Gaia. Um, be easy out there. The blight, the I may stream a little bit more. I don't know yet. But of this game, this game is a good game. It's a good game. That's all I can say. Um, like Elizabeth Wood. I'm gonna find a save point. And um, thank you for Work Birdie coming through. Who led the ambush. And all my supporters, soldiers that game, oh, steals forever. Everybody in the group, Big Bear Bro, Legendary, Shake of Milk, all of y'all, shouts out to y'all, Share It Man called? Gaming, that's what's up. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Peace out.